survey tools. All differentiation should start with data about prior knowledge and collecting that data can be simplified through the use of technology. Teachers will learn about a variety of data collection tools that can be used for student assessments that quickly can be adapted for individual students as needed. This is one of my favorite websites called Poll Everywhere. And Poll Everywhere turns your cell phone into a clicker where you can respond. You can do this through your cell phone. You can use it through a computer. And it is free if for 40 responses. If you teach multiple classes during the day, you can clear the results and do it again for the next 40. There's paid plans, but we know the theme that runs through Meg's classes is free. So you can do a variety of different polls and you set up your own polls. You can create your own polls. They have some uh, don't they're more like celebrity kind of things that are available polls that you can pick from. But you set up as many polls as you want and then when you you can pre-populate and when you're ready for your class you can then go ahead and select the poll that you would like students to respond to and then you start the poll. So you can go ahead and make it open-ended or multiple choice. Now what happens if your computer is hooked to a projector you're going to see the results right up there right on the screen in front of everybody. So before I would ever allow anything like the open-ended I would definitely talk to my students about being using appropriate language and spelling and all those other wonderful things we have to remind them of. But you can set up your multiple choice, true, false, open-ended, and make as many questions. I don't think there's a limit to how many questions you can make. And then here it is. Now this is your view. This is before we turn it and open it up for students. And so you can go ahead. The key is look in the right hand side. Now first to get here you created an account and you logged in for free and then you want to go over to the right and you want to start the poll. But before I would do that in this case I want to clear the results from the first period class. Clear the results and then I would start the poll. There's other things that you can add if you notice that uh, you can add, build your questions right into PowerPoint. And you set up how many, how the people can respond. For example, if you only want that person to be able to answer once, they can only answer one time. So you are, you're in charge of the world, you set up the poll. This is key. It took me a while to figure this one out. Look on the, the right, the purple. That See where it says enable full screen? After you've cleared the results and you've started the poll, enable that full screen and that way the poll fills up the whole screen and you can start to accept answers. So I sometimes forget to start the poll and everybody's trying, they're working on their cell phones, they're trying to send it in and whoops, forgot to start the poll. So this is where you kind of, this is the engine behind everything. So Poll Everywhere is one example of a place that you can go ahead and make different surveys and collect the information. Now, you're limited. It is free. You don't know who said that answer. Unlike some of the other more sophisticated systems where you can drill down to find out who the end user is, you can't do that in the system at this point. Last I read about what they're working on is they're working on um, a more elaborate system where you would know who the answer came from but it's not ready yet. And I don't know if that's going to be a charge. So not sure. Poll everywhere. Poll everywhere. My favorite. Now, Sally is another one. I'm really trying to study Sally and I haven't quite mastered it. Now, the, both these sites, Poll Everywhere and Sally, are great if you can use cell phones at your school. Definitely the trend that I am seeing is that more schools are going to allow uh, cell phones at the middle school, high school level, and now we can incorporate them into class. And that poll everywhere is a great way to do um, exit slip activities. Let's find out where everybody is or um, prior knowledge, things like that. So I'm playing a little bit with Sally. The one thing I did learn as I was exploring and investigating, there is Sally for everybody and there's Sally for school. So make sure if you want to investigate Sally that you do that for education. People love it.
I looked all around and I was like, okay, but I just wasn't sure. And um, selling me for workshops, easy group texting, while cell numbers stay private. That's really very important. You don't want your cell phone out there in the middle of some conference hall. And uh, bring students, teachers closer together and any phone, any number of members, instant, private, and secure. So I was like, hmm. So I really want to investigate a little bit more, but I wanted to make sure I included it in here as one possible solution for you. Now, SurveyMonkey has been around, wow, a long time. I wouldn't even begin to guess. But there is a free part of SurveyMonkey, and there's a for-fee SurveyMonkey. And so um, just know that there's two parts, you know, the pro and the free. And the free, you really are limited. There's only certain things that you can do. Here they are. And um, 10 questions per survey, you can't get a lot of information in 10 questions. But then 17 dollars a month that's not too bad and then of course the gold is most popular and so there's you have to de decide what your features are so what I want to do is I want to show you all these options then what I want you to come back and investigate the ones that uh, are of interest to you so SurveyMonkey uh, used to use it a lot I'm not using it as much anymore because I'm using this this is an example of Google Form. Google Form is part of Google Drive, and that's what I'm using. Here's another example. This is one I made, and it, it gives you all the pretty backgrounds, themes, all that thing. All you do is put in your questions, and then you go ahead and have a survey. What's great about Google Forms is free, the theme again, and it also in, uh, coordinates with a Google spreadsheet which is great. So as soon as people put in their information, you get it right here. Now in another lesson, you learn kind of the, how do you set it up? How do you do all of that? But I wanted just to, to put it out there to remind you that this is uh, another um, alternative to SurveyMonkey. Can't forget these when we're talking about surveys. These are often referred to in the group of classroom clickers. Now, lots of universities, you have to buy one of these or um, rent it per semester to answer questions in those big lecture halls. And so um, some of these are being used at the, the university level, and some of them are being used in kindergarten to get, collect data. All different ones, and a lot of them are tied to an interactive whiteboard provider. So if you have a smart board, for example, you'd have the one in the left corner. Prometheans, you get the middle one. So it just really depends. But these, when I referred earlier to more sophisticated software, these have much more sophisticated software where every student logs in with a, with a code, and that way behind the scenes, that the teacher can drill down and see exactly how each student does, which is great because let's say you put up a true-false question and I'm sitting there and I said true and it's false. I Nobody knows that it's me that is wrong. The teacher behind the scenes does, but nobody publicly knows. So you get a lot more audience participation in this. There's also a lot of teachers that use this for all the data points that they need to collect and from students. They just take out your clickers, you know, quick respond, who's going on the field trip, who's doing this, you know, that kind of stuff. So that um, lot great data collection tools. This is just a tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of different ones, but I wanted to show you just kind of more of the commonly used ones to create surveys. Thanks.